I have the impression that stealth technology has been way too overrated for the new military aircraft and as if it's a huge tendency to, you know, if you don't have a stealth aircraft, your aircraft is no longer a fifth generation fighter and that your military jet sucks. So I believe that there is one side of the story that says stealth on one hand is a scam, it's just a marketing tool because it's not as stealthy as usually the designers claim to be, they, they, either because they hide the real information or they use it to promote their aircraft better. So the one side of the story here is the information war, the di digital war, and the other side are the technical aspects. So I'm going to briefly go through the technical aspects and also comment on some of the sources that I read of why there are so many contradictions in terms of what you know one country says about their fighter jet and what some expert so-called expert sources tell about them so i'm gonna have to point out that first of all that it's impossible to make an aircraft fully invas invisible on the radars it's all about the rcs radar cross-section reduction which means that you know you cannot optimize every single angle of your aircraft for low detection. I'm going to explain this in more detail. This is the, I call the trade-off triangle when designing stealth aircraft, which means you can usually at most pick up two. Let's say you want an, an aerodynamically efficient aircraft that is also cost efficient. In this case, you're not going to have a low observable aircraft or not that low observable. This is what usually the media has said about the Russian T-50 PAKFA aircraft, that it's okay aerodynamically, it's not performing bad, but it's also cost efficient. That means that it's usually not, not low observable. That might be true because if we take another example, like the F-22, it's supposedly a low observable aircraft that is also maneuverable and aerodynamically efficient, but it's so cost inefficient. It's literally one of the most expensive fighter jets in history. The B-2 bomber beats that category, but, but because bombers are a separate category and they don't, don't fit in in this triangle, basically. Because, you know, fighter, fighter bom bomber, fi bombers, not fighter bombers, sorry, bombers aren't usually optimized to be maneuverable. Although there are, let's say, fighter-bomber combinations like the Su-34, fullback, and so on and so forth, but exclusively bombers aren't designed to be very maneuverable. So what I was talking about before is, you know, when you design a fighter jet, usually you have to optimize all the angles of it because the radar radar source and the radar waves can come from different angles, but you cannot make it optimal at every single angle because there will be always a weak point for each aircraft that can make it more detectable if it's exposed at a different angle to the radar. So if the, let's say the aircraft is flying and is slightly misaligned with its optimum angle to the radar, then probably the radar will have a better chance of detecting it. So that's the main issue that you cannot make every single angle of your aircraft stealthy, let's say, because you're trading off so many aspects. Either your aircraft won't be flyable, which was the case of the F-117 Nighthawk. It couldn't take off and fly efficiently in its very first flight simply because they tried to optimize every single angle for detection, which didn't work out. They had to make it flyable somehow, so they had to trade off some of the low observability per characteristics. So that's the main issue. The key of detecting a stealthy aircraft is using longer wavelength waves because they are less accurate but they can detect that there's a stealth fighter but lower wavelength radars which was the ways that the stealth fighters are designed to counter then the accuracy will be higher but then these aircraft are designed to deflect away or absorb these radar waves. So that is the main issue. It depends on what kind of radar, what kind of wavelength is the radar operating. You cannot make stealth 100% 
efficient at every single condition and every single war scenario, let alone that, because war scenarios are unpredictable. Let me comment now on some of the... So I would like to comment now on, let's say, the two fighter jets, the F-22 and the T-50, Russian T-50 Pakva. Was there a, such a heated conflict, let's say, there in the, in the media, of course, not in real life? It's because there is a contradiction between what each source says and what each country says, because if we take a look at one of the sources, this is Fight Clerk, if I'm not wrong, but I'll put, post the link down in the description, because it says that the designer of the T-50 says that the RCS of the F-22 is about this, and the T-50s is supposed to be close to that. Okay, that's from the point of view of a Russian designer, but then we have another source which says the F-22 is definitely superior because it has a radar cross-section of this, while the pac is only supposedly having this low, sorry, high radar cross-section in contrast. So the main issue here is marketing. So one of the sources claim one thing, other sources claim otherwise, with the whole purpose of convincing which aircraft to buy. And this is how they trick countries. So, and they really make stealth as the main indicator that the aircraft is superior, right? So on the other situation where we have the F-35, which is right now one of the most expensive programs in jet history, but still it's called a fifth generation fighter regardless of the issues that are with it. So the supersonic speed issue and you know the software glitches. This is from RT. Of course it's a pro-Russian side source. But like I said, the problem with the F-35 is that it's supposedly designed to be super stealthy and technologically advanced with anti-jamming, sorry, with jamming technology. But it sacrifices aerodynamic performance, which it goes back to the triangle that I commented, the trade-off triangle. And then we have this incidences. This is from Borglor Military that claims that in Syria, these sorry, in, in, in Iraq, the F-35s were detected so by the Chinese radars to 450 kilometers. So, so now is that the deployment the very high frequency radars to protect the Russian air defense systems as 300 x 400 from possible attacks by the Amer American and Israeli F-35. So whether the F-22 or the F-35 are that stealthy, nobody knows because the media is contradicting all the time. One source says one thing, the other says otherwise. And finally, the thoughts about India trying to withdraw from the PACFA program simply because India was demanding in terms of stealth performance. But apparently one of the sources claimed that India will still stick with the PACFA even though the, the PACFA may not be that stealthy as the F-22, that's possibly or possibly not. But India, for example, has not made a decision to change to American F-35s if they want stealth. So this is the thing that India probably won't find a fighter jet that meets those stealth requirements. Maybe because it's physically po impossible to design such an aircraft, or maybe there's no need to have a super stealthy aircraft. Maybe because the maneuverability of it will be too bad or other requirements won't be fulfilled. Maybe the weapon base will be too small or not feasible to design, or the, possibly the project will be too expensive. So economy also plays a huge role, and cost efficiency, of course. I hope you enjoyed this brief video describing why stealth is literally a marketing tool and is not a so-called technological decisive factor when purchasing the aircraft, because like I said, stealth needs to come with other aspects. You cannot simply analyze and design an aircraft from stealth point of view because 
The aircraft is designed to also maneuver, to evade, to fly supersonic. That's the reason. So I would like to comment. I would like you guys to comment in this video to see what do you think. And if you like the video, of course, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.